Josh with Wine and Bull Leatherworks back again with another hobby vlog this time around. I wanted to talk about uh, using leather crafting to fulfill uh, some needs. Uh, and specifically for me, that would be needs of like things that I actually need in my life. Uh, first off, uh, I wanted to show off something that was pretty much my first attempt at what leather working and not a project uh, per se, which was the coffee cup sleeve, but an actual uh, item that I wanted to use in an everyday capacity. The thing is, at the time my wallet had fallen apart and I decided to try my hand at uh, something new. And that's what actually got me into leather crafting uh, was to build, make myself a wallet. Um, I had watched a few videos on YouTube and it seemed simple enough. And uh, I actually uh, bought a pattern from Quarter Leather. I'm gonna actually link Quarter Leather down in the description below, uh, as well as the link to the pattern. It only cost two bucks and it was for a minimalist wallet. But um, my first attempt uh, was not so good. I'm gonna throw that down here. So zoom in just a little bit. The stitching is bad and in fact, the stitch wasn't even supposed to be in there. Um, <clears throat> I tend to be somebody that does things. And while I watched the video uh, from Quarter Leather about um, building this wallet or making this wallet, uh, and then, you know, going through the pattern and all that stuff, I ended up actually uh, doing most of what he suggested in the instructions for the pattern, and then kind of went off the rails and, and did things uh, much differently. Uh, this minimalist wallet only has really the one pocket right there. And this is supposed to actually be open so that you can slide um, bills or other cards in there. In fact, in his pattern, he has um, kind of a thumb uh, slide or finger slide cut out so that you can just slide your card out. I didn't have enough skill to do that cut. And obviously, my stitching was horrible. I actually tried to um, do the saddle stitch by hand and obviously uh, with this thinner leather, leather uh, it was a lot more difficult and uh, yeah. So in any case, I I've actually been using this wallet for the past couple months, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I do like uh, the minimalist wallet. It forces me to only carry what I need. And uh, what I'd like to do at this point is take an opportunity to improve upon my Mark I uh, wallet and hopefully have a better uh, Mark II um, and show off the skills that I have learned or at least reinforced as I have progressed in my leather working. So um, I'm gonna bring out uh, the next step. So the next step, I actually ended up cutting out a new, new wallet using the pattern uh, from Quarter Leather and uh, I'm using a thicker uh, veg tan rather than the scrap leather that I used initially for Mark One. And here it is. So um, I watched his video quite a few times. That video will also be linked below. And I've actually uh, improved my skill a little bit. I've learned how to bevel. Uh, I've learned how to mark my line um, using uh, tools. Uh, in fact, you probably can't really see it all that great, but it is there and it is where it needs to be. Uh, so what will happen is I'll uh, basically fold this over and then I will glue it so that this sticks. And then I will fold this over and then along the stitch line, which is actually uh, the same all down this edge and matched on this edge. I'll punch uh, my sewing holes through and then we'll sew it. But even before that, obviously natural veg tan, uh, I'll need to dye this and uh, make it look nice. And uh, yeah, so that's the first step. All right, so the next step, here it is. Here's my uh, piece. Uh, I have my stitch line right there with all the holes punched in. I've actually had it resting uh, so on under um, something heavy so that it would make that fold a little bit easier. I've actually, as you can see, dyed the wallet with a Bison Brown EcoFlow dye. Uh, I did both sides 
but even with this side done, I actually used token oil to kind of smooth out the uh, flesh side so that it's a little bit smoother and when it's closed, you know, it won't look, uh, it won't look bad. It'll match the bison leather uh, or bison brown color that I have on there. So my next step really is to, <clears throat> I'll probably uh, end up putting some leather balm on this to make it shiny. I've already done the edges. Um, so that's pretty much finished. So I will uh, leather bond this to protect it and then I'm gonna do my sewing and then we'll see what the result is. All right guys, so I just finished making the wallet. Um, I'm actually kind of pleased with it. There is a little bit of disappointment because of uh, some of the mistakes I made when assembling it, but I might as well just uh, bring it on the camera here. So here's the wallet that will be replacing my <laughs> Mark I. Obviously very similar pattern, no stitch line on here as it should be. Um, an improved stitch line, as you can see, uh, on this side. However, I did mess up on the back side. You can see it's not as clean. I missed a stitch as I was uh, uh, back stitching here. So, but I mean, it's pretty solid uh, wallet here. Uh, and I'm very pleased, definitely replacing my Mark I. I'm gonna keep the Mark I as a reminder that um, I am improving in my skill, and I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. Uh, this is gonna be a usable item for me, and then at some point I'll do a Mark III, and hopefully at that point that minimalist wallet will be perfect with the stitching and everything else. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, the thing that I'm gonna walk away with uh, on this particular project is that uh, one, I've improved my skill just by um, taking my time and uh, building up my confidence with the fundamentals that are necessary to make, uh, to do leather crafting. Uh, and second, while it's not perfect, as you can see, there is a marked difference uh, once you start um, getting a handle on the fundamentals of leather crafting. So with all that said, I appreciate you taking the time to be part of this journey for me of becoming a leather crafter. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click that bell notification icon to get notified of any new content coming out of Lion and Bull. And then uh, thanks for watching.